Cynthia, why don't you take your sister to bed? As you wish, Grandpa. Daddy, what's going on? Don't worry, Serena. Your daddy just needs to talk with Cynthia's grandpa, that's all. Come on, Serena, let's go to bed. So, you think you're too good for this family now? I don't understand. You think you're just gonna get to walk away from this family and never come back? You're dead wrong, Serena's father. As a matter of fact, the only thing you're right about is of that obnoxious bloodstain can't get made. Not unless he marries in. Marries? Who do you think? This family needs that money, and it's about time your pathetic body was useful for something. But sir, I'm already married. You think I give a care about your stupid beard? Come on, Serena's father. I even went through the trouble of making the house more to your kind's liking. What? What do you think I'm into? What, this is the kind of stuff villains like? Okay, first off, Dad, I'm an anti-hero. Yeah, a villain. Oh, for Pete's sake. I don't know who'd enjoy this. Look at me, kid. One way or another, you're gonna do what I say. Don't cross me. Now get to bed, Serena's father. You have a big day tomorrow. Yes, sir. Oh, and Serena's father. If you ever talk back to me again, you and your daughter, Serena, are going home in boxes. Capiche? Yes, sir.